Hey guys, it's Mandy. Welcome to my beginner series. This is a series of 10 videos dedicated to getting that body ready for more intermediate level or advanced workouts. Today, we are specifically focusing on legs. This is a 10 minute leg workout for beginners to get that body ready. Let's go ahead and start off at the front of your mat this time and then take the right foot back. Coming into a lunge, place the hands on the hips. Now correct form for a lunge, we want the back heel spiked and the knee bent. Notice if your leg is straight in the back and the heel's pressing down, let's go ahead and correct that. From here, add a bend in that back knee and straighten both legs. Slide straight down, straighten both legs. Already you feel the burn in the right quad. Down and up down and up. So the front of the right thigh is warming up. Doesn't need to be a deep bend. You can always come down a couple of inches and stand up tall. Five, four, three, two, and one. Hold down nice and low. Add a small bend in the knee, little pulse, just for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's step up and step it back. Lift, step it back. Six, five, bend that back knee. Four, three, two, and one. From here, take your left foot back in lunge. Spike the heel, send the knee down, straighten both legs, and bend down. Lift and bend. So notice I'm not hinging forward or leaning into that front leg. I'm going straight down and straight up. Five more, four, three, two, a last one, hold. Give me that small little bend in the knee. Focus all of your energy right there, back leg. Feel your quads, yes. Let them burn, four, three, two, and step up lunge back, step up, lunge back, step, lunge back. Great, up and back. If you wanna make it a little bit smaller, a little less of a bend, that's an option, or you can take the leg further back for three, two, last one. Great job, already getting those thighs warm. Let's take the feet out a little wider, about hip distance apart, and maybe a little further than that, and send your hips back. This is your squat where the weight is in the heels, the toes are lifted up, that's kind of your little cheat there to make sure that you're sending the weight back, okay? Trying to get those knees as close to over or behind the ankle as possible. Pull your core up a little bit, support the low back, and then we're gonna press and stand. Press back and stand. Great. Basic squat. Down, squeeze up. Now don't forget that extra little something, right? When you lift and squeeze your backside. Send it back, lift and squeeze. Five, four, three, you might be higher or you might be a little lower. Last one, hold down, right here. Take right heel up, left heel up and press. Down, right and left and press. Right, left and press, right left and press great job down right left and press back are you squeezing the tush feeling that burn core is engaged protecting your low back four more right and left reach back last three press and two last one right left and press hold down in your squat Let's step right and left. Just tap side to side. So you look like this from the front. Booty's back, it's pressing back. Legs stay bent here. Just tap and tap. Six, five, four, three, two. Hold in that squat, take it down. Ooh, can you get a little lower? Do whatever is a challenge for you. If that's a small bend, or if that's a big bend, reach those hands out. Ooh, straighten out your back a little bit. Pull your core in. Four, three, two, one. Woo, I'm proud of you guys. Woo, let's kick the booty. Just stretch. Kick and kick. Great, great. 
All right, when you're here, plant those feet. Toes flare out, 45 degrees, and just lift the heels and lower. These are your calf raises, okay? Working the calves right now. Starting off pretty easy. Soon enough, they're gonna get a little more challenging, okay? Just up and down, up and down. Six, five, four, three, two, and hold at the top with a little raise, okay? Now you feel the burn. Now they have to stay engaged the whole time you're here. Okay, they're starting to get tight all the way through the leg. If you need a break, you just take it. When you're ready, come back. Five, four, three, two, full range. Down and up, down and up. Ooh, they're starting to get tight. Last three, two, hold, little pulse. Just 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo, quick stretch. Take your right foot back, dig into that heel. And take it up, left foot goes back, dig into that heel. All right. Step back up, take the right foot, into a curtsy lunge. So instead of going straight behind you like before, now you're off and over to the left side. This is your curtsy lunge. Same, same concept with form though. Back heel up, knee goes down. Hold here, hold. Let's add a small pulse, down, down. Great. Hopping to a regular lunge in five, four, three, two, and one. Regular lunge and curtsy, lunge, curtsy, lunge, curtsy. Now you start to notice the front leg. It's engaging more so, okay? Absorb that shock in your back leg, right and left, right and left. Six, five, four, three, two, and then curtsy and stand, down, stand, curtsy. When you stand in your curtsy, Notice my back hip squeezes and pulls up. Tighten the glute, tap back. Squeeze your booty, tap back. Squeeze the booty, tap back. Five, four, three, two, and one. Stand up, great. Left foot goes back to that curtsy. And from here, pulls down. Shoulders stacked over hips. Prevent yourself from hinging forward too much. Lean back, spike the back heel. We always want knees tracking in the direction of the toes and not going one way and the toes going the other. Down, down, six, five, four, three, two, let's step up, step back, up, step back. Few of these and then we'll hop from regular lunge into that curtsy lunge. Back and stand, five, four, Starting to break that sweat, I know you are. Last two. And one, hop to your lunge and curtsy. Regular lunge, curtsy lunge. I use my hands to help, but it's optional. You can have hands on hips, or you can keep them going like me. Five, four, three, two, and stand up, releve. So add that calf raise again. Little heel lift, heel lift. Tighten up your core, just tapping those heels up and down, six, five, lock your gaze, four, three, two, and one. Woo, release the heels, quick circle out of those legs, all the way around, all the way around. All right, great. Step out a little bit wider this time, toes 45 degrees. Go ahead and come into your sumo squat, or plie, right? Second position, plie, if you're a bar person. All right, go ahead and sit down. Tuck your tailbone under and add a small bend in the knees, little lift. Tiny, tiny, okay? Now form here. The weight shifts to the outside edge of the feet. So instead of turning the knees in, knees open. And you're squeezing the glutes behind you, okay? Inner thighs pressing back, down an inch. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. We're gonna reach those hands out, okay? And from here, lunge to the right. Come back to second, lunge left. This is hard, okay? Right, 
open, left, open, right, open, left, open. You can feel that burn, but you're burning out just for this last little bit of the video, okay? Right, middle, left, middle, right, middle, left, middle. Four more, three, two, last one. Hold in the middle right here. Woo, legs burning, burning, burning. Okay, hands on the hips. This is legs, not arms after all, right? Hold low. Gosh, you can do this. Stand up tall and bend down. Lift and bend down. Woo, losing my balance for a sec. Four, three, two. Finishing off last thing, your best hold down. See how low you can get your legs. Might be a little bit of a shake. That's okay. If you want to come up higher, you can. Hold, hold, hold. Two big breaths. Great job. Release those legs. Heel toe it in. You've made it through this beginner leg workout. If you like this video or my channel, be sure to subscribe. Drop me a comment on what you want to see next. I'd love to hear from you. Bye guys.